Hey guys, Tony from Thermaltake here, and today we're going to be going over the installation for a brand new Flow360 AIO. For this video, we're going to be installing it in an Intel 1151 motherboard, as well as an AMD AM4 motherboard as well. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. So included inside the packaging, we have our Intel 2011 standoffs, our AMD standoffs, Intel 1150 standoffs, thumb screws, fan screws, radiator screws. We also have our AM4 standoffs, our retention clip, back plate with included pads, our general AMD bracket, and our Intel bracket as well. Just to round off the RGB Vive, the Flow also comes included with three of our 120 millimeter Ring Plus fans, controller, and included cables as well. And finally, we have the cooler itself, consisting of the cooling block as well as the radiator. And for today's demonstration, we'll be using our brand new View 21 mid tower case. So, first, we're going to go ahead and start off with just getting the fans mounted onto the radiator itself. For this, it's pretty straightforward, but it's also a very good time to figure out how you want to orient your fans and take care of cable management. For instance, on this installation, we ended up going with a pull configuration as it would allow us to view the fans a little bit more from the inside of the case and also gave us a good opportunity to tuck some cables behind some screws just to make cable management easier down the road. Okay, now that our fans are taken care of, time for the mounting hardware. To start out with, we'll be grabbing our two rubber pads and attaching that to the back plate itself. Now, in general, it's a little bit nicer to go ahead and put the back plate on the board before installing it in the case. However, since our motherboard is already pre-installed in the case, this is going to be a little bit more similar to what you would see with an upgrade. Now, to save some time and make things easier, we went ahead and installed on the back plate and secured it using the standoffs just so that we wouldn't have to revisit that later when we were installing on the cooling block itself. So now it's time to go ahead and get that radiator mounted. This is actually one of the reasons why we chose the View 21 as it supports a front mounted 360 millimeter radiator. Mounting the block for the flow is pretty straightforward and simple as all you'll need to do is line up the brackets for the pump with the standoffs themselves and then just go ahead and secure it with the provided for thumb screws. And since we had a chance to show you guys the fan controller before installing it, we thought this would be a good opportunity to show you some of the connections. Right here we have our Molex power. It's pretty straightforward. Next we have our USB controller. Now this is actually going to be attaching to a motherboard header and then straight to the controller itself. Then we have our fan headers. These are pretty funny as they look like USB 2.0s and they'll just be connecting into the controller just like that. And we have five available ports as well. Now mounting a cooler onto AMD's new AM4 socket is actually very reminiscent of Intel's 2011 socket, with the only major difference being that you'll be removing these two top mounting brackets, and then just going ahead and securing your standoffs, followed by the cooler itself. Alright guys, well if you have any questions on the flow itself or the installation process, be sure to leave us a comment down below. Also, thanks again for joining us and be sure to stay tuned for part 2 where we actually go over the software that makes everything possible.